Ready for story time, little twins? Yay! How about Jack and the Beanstalk? Sure we do, and it's my favorite. 
Once upon a time in the woods, there lived a little girl, Red Riding Hood. Had to visit Grandma, sick in bed, so off she went with a basket of bread. side of the woods. Wolfie arrived at Grandma's house, crept through the door like a little mouse. Grandma saw the wolf, then she screamed, oh! and ran into the closet so she couldn't be seen. I will wait just right here for Little Red Riding Hood to appear. Clever wolf I am to pretend that I am dear grandma sick in bed. <laughs> I hope Red Riding Hood gets here fast and rescues me. This wolf is bad. Just then, Red Riding Hood arrived at grandma's house. She opened the door and walked right up to her grandma's bed. Grandma, I am here, poor thing in bed. I brought you some yummy bread. Dear, I'm feeling sick. Come a little closer, take a look. Grandma, you don't seem yourself. What can I do to help? I must have a nasty bug. Climb on the bed and give me a hug. Grandma, what big eyes you have. Big eyes to see you. Grandma, what big ears you have. Big ears to hear you. Grandma, what big teeth you have. Big teeth to eat you. <laughs> Poor little Red Riding Hood. Thankfully, a lumberjack was passing by and heard her cry. He broke down the door and came inside. What's going on? Are you okay? I heard you scream from far away. Hey, big bad wolf, get out of here. And don't you come.
the boy tended his flock. Man, this is boring. The sheep don't even talk. He was so bored, he made a scheme. I'm gonna make the village scream. Hey, everybody, gather around. There's a big bad wolf in town. The boy, the boy, the boy who cried wolf. Once again, there was no wolf anywhere. Stay away. 
shook her head, looked at the stream. I just had the strangest dream. Was that all just a dream? Let 
you go, tell me why. Think you can help me? <laughs> You're a silly, silly, tiny little mouse. Okay, I'll set you free. Wow, you sure are brave. Oh, help me. Won't somebody help me? The lion and the mouse. The lion and the mouse. The mouse heard a lion's roar and knew just what to do. She called her friends. I should never have laughed at you at all. Don't worry, we understand. Let's just be friends. Are we cool, my man? The lion and the mouse. The lion and the mouse. The lion and the mouse. Yeah, the lion. Okay, twins, it's story time. How about the story of Goldilocks and the Three Bears? Yay! Once upon a time in a house in the forest, there lived three bears who loved their porridge. They ate it every morning and every night. Papa's was hot. Mama's was cold. Baby bears 
chair, and so it broke! Oops! Now she was feeling really sleepy, so decided to go upstairs to lay down her golden head. Papa Bear's bed looked much too hard. Mama Bear's bed looked much too soft. Baby Bear's bed was the final one. Hmm, let's see. Oh, wowee! This one's just right. Just as Goldie fell asleep, the three bears returned home to discover they were not alone. Someone's been eating Papa Bear's porridge. Someone's been eating Mama Bear's porridge. Someone's been eating babies too. Hmm, let's see. Oh, dearie me. They ate it all up. Someone's been sitting in Papa Bear's chair. about the big bad wolf. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now settle down and I'll tell you the story of Little Red Riding Hood. Yeah. <laughs> there once was a girl all cloaked in red. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I'm taking a walk. That's what she said. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I'm going to grandma's. I'll cut through the woods. I know a shortcut that's pretty good. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Mama gave Little Red some special treats Oh yeah, oh yeah To bring to her grandma sweets to eat Oh yeah, oh yeah But once in the woods a wolf stopped <gasps> Little Red He said, well hello little one Then get it go She said, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah <laughs> Well, I I'm really not supposed to talk to anyone but I must get to Grandma, she's not doing well Oh yeah, oh yeah Said Little Red And you kinda smell Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Then as she took off, the wolf followed near <laughs> And then raced ahead when the coast was clear Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear <laughs> Yes, oh. that's right, kitties oh. <laughs> The wolf ended up at Grandma's place Oh no Oh no! And scared her with his 
his hairy face. <gasps> oh no! Oh no! The wolf locked her up, then put on her clothes. And got into bed in a grannyish pose. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Help! <laughs> Help me! <laughs> oh, yes, come in, dear. Hi, Granny. Said Red when she walked through the door. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah. I've bought some treats from the goody store. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh nice. Said the wolf, then burped really big. Oh. That's when Little Red saw the wig. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> Whoops! <laughs> uh oh. Hmm. Why, Granny, what big ears you have! <laughs> Is that so? And, Granny, what big eyes you have! <laughs> Is that so? And, Granny, what big teeth you have! <laughs> the better, dear, <gasps> to eat you with! Oh, no! <laughs> Riding Hood. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah. Then a huntsman who was chopping wood. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Burst in and shook the wolf all about. Unlock the door and let Granny out. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. You big bad wolf, Granny. <laughs> well, Granny was scared, but she was okay. Oh yeah, oh yeah. And Little Red said, I learned a lesson today. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Don't talk to strangers. How about that? And Granny and Red had a nice long chat. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, what happened to the big bad wolf? They sent him away, and he never came back. Phew! What a relief! Well, well, what happened to the basket of goodies she brought to Grandma's house? Uh, anything left for me? Uh -oh. Charlie! Charlie. <laughs>Have I got a story to tell you? Oh, boy. <laughs> Is it about monkeys or, or bananas? <laughs> <laughs> Why, no. It's a story about my family. Oh, like when you were just a boy? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's about me and my two brothers. <gasps> oh, cool. cool. I want to hear. Okay. Three little pigs went out to play. Let's build a house made of straw today. Said one little pig and he built it. Yeah. yeah. Then he took a nap, but a wolf woke him up. Oh, huh? What? Oh, who is it? I see you in there. Uh -huh. I see you in there. Oh. Open the door, little pig, beware. Uh -huh. He knocked on the door. Let me come in. Not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house oh. in. And he did, and he laughed with a big mean grin. Oh, <laughs> <dear. laughs> the straw was just too easy to blow away. <laughs> then I shall build a stronger house. Out to play went two little pigs. Let's build a house made out of twigs. Said one little pig and he built it. Yep. Yeah. Then he took a snooze, but that wolf woke him up. The nerve. <gasps> huh? Huh? <laughs> huh? What? I see you in there. You do? <laughs> I see you in there. Uh-oh. <gasps> Open the door, little pig. <gasps> Be coming. Not by the hairs of my chitty chin chin. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house oh. in. And he did, and he laughed with a big mean grin. <laughs> 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 oh, that's bad. Well, that didn't work at all. I think we need something stronger than straw or sticks. Mm -hmm. Just one little pig, and she had to think quick. Mm, I'll make my house out of sturdy bricks. Said the third little pig, and, and she, she built, built it right up. up. Then she took a snooze, but that wolf woke her up. <laughs> 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 oh.
I see you in there. No, you don't. I see you in there. Big shot. Open the door, little pig. Beware. I don't think so. He pounded the door. Let me come in. Not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house <gasps> in. And he tried and he tried and he tried again. Right! <laughs> and the three little pigs lived happily for a long time in their <laughs> brick house. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> well, where are the bananas in this story? <laughs> Charlie. Charlie. <laughs> Let's read the one about Goldilocks. <laughs> yeah! Oh, yes. Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Well, once upon a time... Goldilocks went for a walk And came upon a house in the woods The house belonged to Three Bears. I'd like to go in if I could. Well, you don't say. Goldilocks walked right in and found three bowls full of food. <gasps> Porridge, she said. How nice. Mm, 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 that's really good. But the first one was too hot. Ouch. The second one was too cold. <clears throat> the third one, well. Behold, now this one is just right. <laughs> That porridge was yummy. I think I'll go get comfy in the living room. <laughs> Goldilocks went to the living room where she found three very nice chairs. Oh. She had to try them out, of course, but they belonged to three bears. Hmm. This one looks cozy. Well, the first one was too big. Oops! The second one was big. And never 
never saw Goldie again. <laughs> what a relief. <laughs> to hear the story of the lion and the rabbit. <gasps> Me! I do, I do. Can I pretend to play the rabbit? Well, of course. Uh, I want to be the big bad lion. <laughs> <laughs> of, of course, course you do. do. <laughs> okay, here we go. <laughs> A mighty, mighty lion lay sleeping in the woods. Along came a bunny from the neighborhood. She accidentally brushed up against the lion's toe. Whoops! <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Lion, she said, and then she froze. Uh, uh, it was just an accident. Huh? The lion dropped his paw, smack on the bunny's tail. Oh! <laughs> I caught ya! Now you're in lion's jail. <gasps> oh, please, Mr. Lion, spare me just this time. And I promise to repay you just for being kind. Rah! I will, you know. <laughs> That's pretty funny. A little bunny helping me. <laughs> well, perhaps I'll let you go. But only just this time. You're just a little bunny with a feeble little mind. <gasps> oh, thank you, Mr. Lion. See the smile up on my face. This makes the world a better place. <laughs> you see? It already is. <laughs> and with that, the great big lion let the little bunny go. That was nice of the lion. <laughs> yeah, but you'll never believe what happened next. <gasps> oh, <Wow. hi. gasps> what happened? <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> spill the dirt. <laughs> yeah. One day a hunter caught the lion in a uh, net. Run, run. And suddenly the lion began to really sweat. He roared and roared so loud that the bunny heard him cry. Roar. Is that my friend the lion? Oh goodness me, oh my! Roar, roar. What's this all about? Oh, well, that's what friends are for. Whatever do you mean? It's good to help a friend. I always keep my promises to the very end. I told you I'd repay you, Mr. Lion C. Kindness is a gift that always sets you free. <laughs> You're free. <sighs> the lion purred, and they lived happily ever after. Like best friends? Yes, indeedy do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a lion. <laughs> <laughs> Mom, tell us the story of Jack and the Beanstalk. What's a beanstalk? Is that a kind of soup? <laughs> no, silly. It's a... I don't know. Well, let's find out. Long ago, Jack and his mom lived their life on a country farm. They were poor, not enough to eat, so they made a plan to make ends meet. Jack, go sell our cow, Bessie, and with the money, we can grow more crops. On market day, Jack sold old Bess to a funny lass who was oddly dressed. Hello, young man. She politely bowed. I'll trade you beans for that milking cow. They're magic beans, Whoa. and they'll grow a crop as high as the sky. Wow! Jack went home to show his mom, but when she saw what he had done, she threw away the beans outside. Oh, Jack, just beans, oh my! She cried. But, but, mom. Magic. 
The next day where the beans did land, a giant beanstalk grew. Oh man! Jack climbed those twisty vines so high and found a castle in, in the, the sky. sky. Whoa! Look at that! But when he went inside the place, a big fat giant with an ugly face came thumping in so very loud. Shook the Fum, I smell a boy. Yum, yum, yum. Fee, fi, fo, fum. Ready or not, here I come. Jack was so frightened that he hid in the cupboard while the giant counted his gold. When the big old giant fell asleep, Jack escaped with gold to keep. Decided he'd go back up there. But first, I'd better say a prayer. He climbed up to the castle and hid inside. Uh -huh. He said, The giant's pride. Golden eggs from that little hand. The giant counted at least ten. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, what comes after five? Feed five, four, four. I smell a boy. Yum, yum, yum. About Little Red Riding Hood. Yeah. Okay. I want to pretend that I'm Little Red <laughs> and I'll be the big bad wolf. <laughs> oh, I'm not sure Wookie <laughs> likes that idea. <laughs> Everyone ready? Yeah. yeah! There once was a girl all dressed in red who went to her grandma's sickly bed. She's not feeling well, so I'll cut through the dell and visit Grand for a short little spell. Now remember, don't talk to any strangers. <gasps> I promise. Mama gave Red some special teas. Grandma's very favorite cheese. But in the woods, a wolf stopped Red. Well, hello, my dear. You're going where? He said, um, you're a stranger, right? I'm not really supposed to talk to you. But I'm off to Grand. She's sick in bed. I've brought some cheese and fresh baked bread. Then Red took off, but the wolf was smart. He knew the way to Grand's by heart. <laughs> I'm smarter than the average wolf. <laughs> The wolf sneaked into Grandma's place I'll hide you so there's not a trace He locked her in, got into bed With Granny's nightcap on his head Help me! Poor Granny cried Why come in, dear? Why, Grand? Said Red and she walked right in Oh, I've been wondering how you've been <laughs> I'm, I'm okay But she sounded weird uh, Granny said Oh, oh, oh. Granny has a beard. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Uh oh. Hmm. Why, Granny, what big ears you have. And Granny, what big eyes you have. And Granny, what big teeth you have. The better, my dear, to eat you with. <gasps> The 
better to eat you <gasps> with. Oh. <laughs> oh. On second thought, no, no! Cried Little Red Riding Hood And a huntsman burst in from the woods He broke the door and he grabbed that beast Why, I'll give you a pow! To say the least! You're a big, bad, hairy wolf And you better stop being a bully Or you won't have any friends! Arr sure learned his lesson. Uh -huh. He sure did. And they sent him away and he never came back. See what happens to Big Bad Bullies? Indeed. Now what's the moral of the story? <gasps> never let a wolf know if you have fresh baked bread and special <laughs> cheese. <laughs> <laughs> It's my turn to tell a story. <laughs> okay, but can we be in it? Sure! I need three Billy Goats. Archie, yeah. Luca, you in? Yeah! Tell us the story of the three Billy Goats Gruff. Gruff! Three Billy Goats Gruff set off to the hills to eat green grass and get their fill. They ate sweet grass all day long. They ate and ate till it was gone. Oh, look at that! Oh, fresh green grass. <laughs> Across the river, the little goats spied a field of grass on the other side. Cross the bridge and you pay a toll. Not with coins, you feed the troll. Oh, oh my! The three billy goats gruff were very scared of the troll. But they were also very hungry. Little billy goat gruff just couldn't wait any longer. <laughs> so off he went. I may be scared, but I'm hungry too. The billy goat trip trapped by the troll popped up from under the bridge and said, Who's not trip trapping across my bridge? You won't get by me because I am going to eat you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a hairy troll with yellow eyes, horrid teeth, and claws. I'll eat you up if you cross my bridge with my rotten jaws. It's only me. You see? Yeah. And he'll be coming along next. Very well. Ah, uh, beat it, kid. <laughs> now Middle Goat was next to cross, and off he went trip chop. But on the bridge, the troll appeared. There's a tasty chop. I'm a hairy troll with yellow eyes, horrid teeth, and claws. I'll eat you if you cross my bridge just because. Who's that trip traveling across my bridge? Just me, old troll. I'm off to eat that uh, sweet green grass. Said the middle goat of the three. Oh, no, you're not. Said the troll. I'll eat you with my tea. But I'm almost skin and bones, you see. No fat on me at all. You'd really like my brother, see? He's a butterball. Oh, oh, okay. Go. I wait for big brother. <laughs> So the troll let the middle billy goat gruff cross the bridge and waited for his tasty big brother. <gasps> this is not good. So over the bridge the billy goat tramped, tramp, tramp on the wood. Who's that tramping on my bridge? It's big billy goat, you hairy monster. Hey, that doesn't even rhyme. I'm a hairy troll with yellow eyes, horrid teeth and claws. I'll eat you up if you cross my bridge. How about some applause? <laughs> Be very hungry. <laughs> I'm on my way to eat green grass nah. and join my brothers too. I dare you go to cross my path. My horns will charge you, shoo! And with that, the big billy goat charged the troll with his big pointy horns <laughs> and sent him tumbling backwards over the bridge. Troll with a
Come on, Joey. Tell us the Goldilocks story again. I want to play Goldilocks this time, because, because... <laughs> okay, that'll be funny. Out for a walk went Goldilocks. In the woods she saw a house. I'd like to go in and see what's there. I'll be quiet as a mouse. did she first see? A table full of scrummy food! Yum! Porridge! One, two, three! Oh! But the first one was too cold! Ooh! And the second one was too hot! <gasps> Ouch! Oh! But the third one was just right! Mm. And she ate it all in a shot! Yummy! Ha <laughs> ha